Hello, I'm going to show you how to use SVG Go. Let's begin with a terminal session and a command line in the directory where you've downloaded the package. Here's where mine lives. Let's test the package by running the test script, test SVG Go. This compiles the package, runs several client programs, and shows you the output. Great, it worked. Let's take a look at this one, which is a description of the library, shows the objects and their parameters. Typically you'll start with coordinates and dimensions and any other parameters that are required. Let's write some code. The package also comes with a script called new SVG, which gives you a, a nice boilerplate to begin. Let's describe it from top to bottom. You have your typical Go program with the tap package main. We import our objects. We're going to need OS so that we can tell it where to go, where to uh, place our output. Width and height are the typical variables for describing the dimensions of our canvas. Let's begin it, and we're going to write it to standard out. This background function is a convenience function that uh, creates a rectangle the size of our screen that um, gives us a nice color to begin with. In main, we're going to start with the width and a height. We'll start with a white background. Your code goes here, obviously. And then we'll end it with a grid so that we can see um, our coordinate system. And then finally, we end the SVG document. Right. Let's build it. In order to look at our output, I use squiggle, um, invoked by the SVG command. But you can also use another browser that supports uh, SVG, like Chrome, Safari, Opera, Firefox. All right, we have a bare naked grid. Let's add some code. Let's make a circle. Let's put it in the middle of the screen. And let's make it the size of the screen. Reload. Boom, it worked. Let's put the code in uh, a loop. Change the size based upon the loop index. Let's also put some style in. Let's not fill it. And let's make the color red. All right, rebuild, reload. That worked. Let's change it into a function. Call it rings. Place our rings at some location on the screen that is denoted by X and Y. Do the same dance. Let's call it. And let's put it in the same place. That worked. Let's change it up a little bit. Let's add parameter for how many times we're going through the loop.
And for good measure, let's call it someplace else. Let's put it in the origin and we'll do 20. That worked. Finally, let's get rid of our grid. We don't need it anymore. Boom. Now let's say we want to change our background. There you go. Hope that gives you a flavor for SVG Go. Have fun programming pictures.